Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crumble Unboxed. We have a great episode planned for you guys today, but first things first, I want to introduce you to our amazing new co-host. This is Jamie Hadfield. She is Mrs. Hello. Utah America. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Well, I'm Jamie Hadfield, as she said, and I'm Mrs. Utah American 2023. I won in March, and I just got back. Congratulations. Thank you. It took me four years to win. Oh, I love it. Four years to win a title, so it was a lot of work, and it was a big family effort. If you know pageantry, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, But it was a goal of mine to become Mrs. Utah, and I finally was able to accomplish that, so I was super proud of myself. And I just got back from the national pageant oh in Las gosh. Vegas. Well, congratulations. I hear that you had an amazing Crumble Cookies costume. You want to tell us about that? Yeah. So after I won Mrs. Utah, I was told to make sure I prepared a state costume to represent Utah. Crumble Cookie. I'm going to do that. Everybody loves Crumble. Everybody knows about Crumble. I thought they started in Utah mm -hmm. and we were told as contestants we could do something that represented our state or came from our state. So after we do our costume routine or presentation, we wait backstage in the wings of the theater. They're like, move out of the way, let you tuck them <laughs> forward. They're going to announce her. I didn't win best costume. I'm still offended by that. All the girls thought I was going to win. Well, I think you should have won best costume as well. I know that we loved it and it was so fun to look at. Let's go ahead and move into the, the next portion of our podcast. We actually taste test the cookies every single week and we're gonna give them a rating. So I wanna know which cookie would you like to start with? Is it caramel apple with the apples? Yes. How is so that it's, for English? Caramel, caramel apple yeah. with the apples? <laughs> caramel apple, we love it. I'm gonna have to go with the apple one because my dad is a farmer, grows apples, and that will make him happy, I guess. Want me to go for it? Yes, go for it. We'll see how we feel. Mmm. It's really good. I like the texture of the apple on top of it, just that little bit of crisp. Mm -hmm. It's a really good apple, by the way. So this cookie base, too, a lot of people think that we use the same, like, five bases and then just top with some toppings. More. It's actually, this is a cinnamon apple cookie, so it's its own unique base. And this is a caramel cream cheese frosting with a caramel drizzle and the Granny Smith Cream apples. cheese, you got me a cream cheese. So what would you rate this out of 10? That's like a 9. It's really nine good. out of 10. But I'm going to be a total pageant judge and say it's like a... 9.61. Oh, we're getting a fancy score. I think I would give this probably an eight and a half no, for not any specific reason. You I won't do, go higher? I know. Okay. I know. I love an apple, but an apple is not my most favorite. Okay. That's so. fair. That's fair. But I mean, it still is really delicious. This is the best apple cookie I've ever had. So, <laughs> But you can feel like you did something good in the world because you had some like your veg your fruit and vegetable yes, portion, right? Yes, it does right? make me feel better. You're right about that. Well, let's go ahead and try another cookie. I think- You choose the next okay. one. I actually want to try, this is the peanut butter munch over here. It's the one closest to you. It's so good. Mmm. All right, I'm going to give this a try here. For me, this is a little bit like thicker to eat for some reason. It's hard to like get Like it was down. a little bit harder to- Peanut butter everywhere. Something a little bit, it's the peanut butter, but I feel like most peanut butter cookies just take a little bit more- crunching and munching to get down. Yeah, so. yeah, which is part of the experience. We crunching love that and in munching. a peanut butter I, That's cookie. a new phrase, crunching and munching. Crunching and munching, <laughs> I love it. So a little bit about this cookie. It's peanut butter based and there is that pool of milk chocolate on the top that is so delicious. And then we have the peanut butter covered cereal and then that dusting of powdered sugar. And I think it is so good. I actually didn't like peanut butter before I tried this cookie. Really? And I still don't like most peanut butter things, but this is a good cookie. I'm gonna give it a 7.21. I love it. I love these fancy <laughs> scores. I think for me, like you said, love this cookie. I would probably give it like a 9.5. I think it's pretty Oh, I, I love it. We kind of flip-flopped. Yeah. I'm more of a caramel apple gal. Yeah. And that's the fun thing about crumble. There's a flavor for everybody to love. What cookie do you want to try next? I am totally looking at the chocolate chip or is it semi-sweet? Semi-sweet chocolate with chunk. With sea salt? Yes. Okay, chunk. Yes, so this is different. So this alternates with our milk chocolate chip weekly. So you have milk chocolate chip one week and then you have semi-sweet chocolate chunk the next week. This has the mm. chocolate chunks instead of the chocolate chips, which is so good. And they're semi-sweet and then that flaky sea salt. So, so good. I'm gonna take a bite. This is my winner so far. I mean, what's not to love? Chocolate chunk. It's so good. But Sea salt is the best texture. I like my salt kind of mm -hmm. chunky. <laughs> hey, that goes with the chunky cookie. Didn't think it about does. that. It does. So I like my sea salt a little bit chunky, a little bit like thicker. For me, I, I'll rate it right away. Oh, go for it. I love it. That's a 10. 
It's a 10.54. This is a winning cookie. Can I go over 10? This it's cookie a 10. gets 54. the crown. This is the crowned cookie. Well, if you round that up, that goes to 11. So it's over a 10. I would give it like a solid 9.8. It is just a classic, delicious. I Classic love... is the perfect word. Yes. Yeah, it's a classic. Let's go for let's go for our new cookie. So for every single week for the remainder of this year, we're serving a brand new, never before been on the menu cookie for each week. So we'll have a number of new flavors that customers can try by the end of the year. So this is an oatmeal mallow sandwich, and this is a two oatmeal cookies. They have the molasses, they have mm. yeah the vanilla flavoring, the cinnamon, and then this is a marshmallow cream cheese frosting. So. This is the one I was most excited to try. Oh, I love! It. I'm so excited. I'll give it. I'll give it a try. Because I'm getting two cookies, <laughs> right? So good. I want to go back and change my chocolate chunk score. Okay. I'm going to take that down to 9.76. Okay. And I'm going to make this a 10. Solid 10. Pretty good. Okay. Solid that's a 10. great score. That's a 10. great 10. score. 10.00. I think I, I would give it. this a nine. Yeah. We'll go with a nine. It's the best chewy texture. It's like, so yummy. It's like a heavenly cloud yeah. of sugar in your mouth. That's how I describe yes, it. Yes. And it just kind of melts. It's really good, mm -hmm. you guys. You're going to want to try it for sure. So we have two more cookies left, it looks like. Let's go for Dark Dream right here. Okay. So you guys, this cookie is, it's a chocolate cookie and then it is coated in semi-sweet chocolate chips. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick bite. It tastes like a brownie. I think I would score this maybe an eight and a half. It's, it's a little dark for my liking, but it is really yummy. It is a great cookie. But I know a lot of people who love their dark chocolate. That's and, true. And is it a, is it a semi-sweet chip or a... Yes, this is a semi-sweet okay. chip. I'm going to kind of tell you on that, but I'm okay. going to do 8.69. Yes, that fancy score. <laughs> we love it. Well, let's go on with our final cookie. This is the chocolate green mint cookie right here. So this is a <gasps> chocolate cookie... And then this has been rolled in cookies and cream pieces. And then it oh has, my goodness. yes, it's so good. It has a green mint frosting and then it's just coated with more cookies and cream pieces. So I think I'm going to love it already. Mm. I'm looking at all the different it's layers. It's so good. <laughs> I didn't okay. realize there's chocolate chips inside of this too, it looks like. I could see that when I was holding it out mm -hmm. and like checking out the cookie. That is a really good cookie. And this I might like be my frosting. favorite now. <gasps> I think we saved the best for me for last. Oh, I love that. So what would you score it then? Because it reminds me of my childhood, my mom's brownies with the mint frosting, I'm going to give it an 11.22. Oh, I love that. That's <laughs> a great score. I would probably give it, I'll probably give it a nine. It's a really yummy cookie. I think if we average out our score, it's our winner today. I think it is. I think this is the winning cookie. It's so good. I'm no mathematician. I but that's a high score. <laughs> that's a really good score, you guys. You're going to want to try this cookie and all the others we have on the menu this week. So be sure to get yourself a box. Well, I'm excited for you to experience this next portion of this show with us. Every week we go through some fan mail. So I'm going to This will be fun. We get crazy amounts of fan mail every week. So. Okay. Let's see what Caroline. Beautiful name, by the way. Caroline says, dear crumble cookies, I love your cookies so much. They are so good. Every time I go there, it smells so good. I love your milk chocolate chip, confetti milkshake, patriotic birthday cake, and so much more. They are so good. I love getting them a lot. I was writing this letter to tell you how much I love your cookies. I really hope to hear back from you guys. Sincerely, Caroline. Oh, I love it. And pink, she's got pink pen. Oh, crumble and she branded. Drew, and she's got the cookie. cookies on the bottom. I feel, feel like I should fly to Illinois and show up at her doorstep with the party box in my costume. I think you should. I totally think you should. She would love that it. That would be so fun. All right. So I have our next letter here. And this, it looks like an invitation. So I'm excited. I love when people invite crumble. Like a things. wedding invitation or a birthday? I, let's see. Let's see. So it's from Rachel and Bradley Morris from Watertown, Tennessee. So I'm going to guess it's you. a wedding invitation. I I, I think, love it. I think it might be. Let's see. Oh, it is. They're getting hitched Saturday, twenty the 21st. That's coming soon. Let's go. Can That's I come in my crumble soon. costume? Here, you can take a look at the invitation. I'm going to go ahead and read the letter that they sent with us as well. Why crumble? 
because you literally set the foundation of the start of our relationship. Aww. I love it. My fiance used to send me party boxes every week to my old job with sweet notes inside. So much so that everyone at my office called him the cookie monster. I have since changed jobs, so that is no longer an option, but he did it for over a year. This is a nice person. I, I know why it. she said yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Who wants flowers when you can have crumble? We are having a small wedding of less than 50 and would love to have a cookie bar, uh, a crumble cookie bar, since everyone knows our crumble story. We love y'all and would love for you to join us at our special day. Love, Rachel and Bradley. Well, we're so excited for you, Rachel and Bradley. Thanks for sending in your Congratulations. Letter. Awesome. Well, I want to tell you guys one more thing. A lot of people don't know, but we actually just recently celebrated our sixth birthday here at Crumble. We've been Amazing. around for six years now. And I was going to your first store in Logan, Utah, That's when there was not much, but just a co right, one cookie, which was right. still great. Milk chocolate chip, so good. Many people don't know our founding story. So we have two cousins, Jason and Sawyer, who they wanted to start a business together. They weren't sure what they wanted it to be, but one day they just decided on cookies, which is kind of funny because they didn't have any experience baking cookies. They knew a lot about eating cookies, what they should look right. like. Right, we're all experts like, at eating. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't have any formal baking experience and they just went ahead and they, they started crumble and they went through a lot of ab testing they utilized jason's technology background and they came up with the original milk chocolate chip cookie recipe and they used sawyer's background in branding to come up with the beautiful pink and the box and all of the branding elements that we're known for and six years later here we are today almost 900 stores you guys amazing but we're so excited and glad that you guys are able to celebrate our birthday with us that happened just this last week happy so, birthday yes crumble. go out celebrate by getting a box of crumble cookies and we're so excited for all of you guys to join us along on this podcast today. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.